<laughs> Hello, my name is Ty Foster. I'm Matt Jakes. And I'm Josh Miko. And this is our creation, the Garden Helper Robot, or what we call the GHR. All right, we are going to give a brief overview of our system, a little bit of our inspiration behind the GHR, uh, how the system works, and how we construct it and, uh, and implemented our system. First off, a main inspiration of this project came from my grandpa, Jerry Hansen. He loves to garden, yet in his older age, arthritis is killing his knees. So it makes it really hard for him to keep gardening. It hurts him and I, I just had to think of a way. So I went to Ty and Matt and proposed an idea to make a robot to help him water and just help him in general with his plants. And this design, the GHR, is for all those like Jerry who want to keep up with their hobbies despite their disability, sickness, or age. Here is a diagram of our system. It starts with a user input. And your first time running it, there will be a setup function that will ask for locations of plants in millimeters. You can also set a time to water using that. That those numbers will be saved permanently, but can be reset at any time. So the maximum time so that setup function needs to happen is once. From there, there's also buttons where you can just let it water right away. And there's also a function where you can move it to a set location should you need to use it as a bench. From there, we start, um, once it's running a function, say like it's moving to a target location to water, um, we'll use our system loop there um, that will move your motors to a target location. The ultrasonic sensor will move you to that location and it will wait there while it's watering for a set amount of time before moving on to the next location. So the GHR was constructed primarily of wood. This was our prototype and we wanted to make it uh, in a material that we could easily handle uh, and manipulate. Um, future models, we'd like to implement plastic or aluminum uh, for more sustainability. Um, but just to implement our idea, we decided uh, an easy course of action uh, would just to be, to be used using wood in two by fours. The motor is driven uh, by two, two motors. Uh, it's a four wheel drive system, uh, one motor driving the front axle and the other motor driving the back with sprockets and, gear and uh, chains uh, to, move, to move it back and forth. Just like how Matt was explaining, we have an ultrasonic sensor mounted to the, to the back of the GHR to track its location from a set target point. Um, everything, all the electronics will be on the top of the GHR on the little platform you can see, while the hose and everything that's, that could damage the electronics is down below. The GHR is also equipped with safety features to ensure that no harm or accident comes to its user. Let's do a demonstration of the movement of the GHR. I'm gonna send in a one meter command. I'm gonna type it in on the keypad. The controller's then gonna tell the mo motors to spin, and then the ultrasonic sensor is gonna take a reading off the wall, and once it hits a meter, it'll stop. So let's power it on and see how it goes. Type in one, send the command. Let's watch it go. And there you go, it moved. Here's a brief demo of our user interface. You can see right now it's waiting for a command A through D. A will start your water cycle. B and C will let you set some settings for those. D will just set your um, cart to a new location. Here's a quick demo of what that looks like. So if you hit B, it'll ask you to confirm. If you press pound, it'll, you know, continue on. If you hit anything else, it'll cancel. I'm going to show you the time. Let's do just a standard. It takes military time, and if you hit pound, that'll enter, and boom. It'll remember that time next time you want your plants watered. And so, we have completed the world's first garden helper robot. Our first model was a huge success and it leaves plenty of room for improvements. We're really excited to elaborate on both the model and the implementation of the design. We know that this is the first step 
towards automating outside life for everyone and making their lives easier.